The sacrifice of six lives shall make away the true path. Hey guys, in CSPN 001 here, part, I believe, 16 of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. This puzzle is actually very easy, believe it or not. Hit one, two, three, four, okay. And you solve the puzzle. It's a very helpful thing. You're supposed to make it so there's like six dead people, but every time you flip a panel, it flips the two next to it. Ah, now my dog has decided to walk away from me. He must be bored. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, the plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. Okay, lots of enemies here and an angry Salazar. What we will want to do here is line them up and knock them down, pose them down, whatever it's called in uh, Dead Rising 2, I sort of forgot how that was said. Now that we've got the stock though, it's going to make the tump a lot more effective, especially with the .8 damage, actually gives it a fairly high damage amount. Uh, let's aim for headshots, if at all possible, to finish these guys off a little faster. Excellent! The first few enemies have died, and I did not actually mean to skip that cutscene. That was force of habit. But it just shows more enemies spawning, so it's not really like it mattered all that much. But I am worried, because I think they're going to spawn in right behind me eventually. Well, they're not going to spawn in behind me. They're just going to walk through a door behind me up here. Let's see where the enemies are right now. I need to check. Two crossbow guys. Let's kick you, and we will kill you while you're down, or flog us you. Well, you are unnecessary to fight at this exact period of time, and now that you... Oh, crap. This is going to hurt. I'm not sure whether to be happy about that or not. I need to take refuge in here. I know I'm not doing this necessarily the right way, but I need to take refuge in here to regroup and heal. Because if you screw up here, you have to redo the entire room. We'll combine those, but we will not use that just yet. I'm going to use one of these double herbs to pretty much full heal. Oh my god, dude, you are a camper. And you are a jerk with a giant flogus head that has died now. So what you're going to want to do is run over to here, and you can see handgun ammo there. We don't have time to pick that up yet. Deactivate the security system, let RPG guys spawn in, and now run. Hit the button, press the switch, make the platform appear. But now, RPG guys spawn right there and launch rockets at you. However, they actually do not have any more ammunition. Yes. So we now have an easy kill. Easy double kill. Pop both their heads, and I will not reload the rifle this time because I want to hold off on that. So now that we've killed off all the tougher enemies and hit the switch, we can pick up some handgun bullets. We're not going to run down there and pick up anything else because we don't really, I don't see that as being a smart idea. A spindle right there, a couple thou a thousand gold. We're going to pick up the goat ornament. Have that happen. Tump ammo. Monies. Hopefully they won't hit me while I'm running. 
and we're through. That actually went quite well. Five minutes to do both those rooms. I will take it and I will be saving right here because I don't want to have to do those again. Done. Very nice. So that went quite well in my opinion. Next up, we're going to head through here and we're going to see what we can do next. We cannot do anything if we go straight just yet. We'll loop back around and fix that a little bit later. So right now we have to go this way. An empty corridor with birds and more notably, I can't hit the spindle hanging on the wall. Gonna kick this door down. And we're gonna run right around to here and we're going to pick up, actually first if we take a single bullet to one of these birds, get a little more cash or golds, 400s of them. Uh, we cannot do anything about this room yet. It is locked from the other side with the help of another person we might be able to get up there. We're gonna need Ashley to go back for that but that room is absolutely worth going into because there is money, ammunition, treasure, and most notably, a broken butterfly in there, the, hand, the Magnum, for free. So it is absolutely worth going for because of that freaking black. Uh, I literally just, how did I blank out on the name? Oh my God, black, not the black tail, broken butterfly, oh my God. I went mind blank there. Okay, we can't do anything with that door yet. We're going to need to get a... Oh, transmission from Salazar. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I see. So, do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. <laughs> Sagacious as I am, even I get lost here sometimes. Even if it takes your whole life. You'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends, like chasing down a couple of rats. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh, they're an intruder besides me? We will be finding out about that actually as soon as we go through that door. Interestingly enough, uh, nothing right there for our help. And now we are going to want the shoddy for this coming area because we're going to get attacked by his mutant Clogus Head doggies, whom I believe we've already been attacked by before. Whoa, he got up there faster than I expected. I really hope that my dog doesn't start barking at these dogs. It would be really funny if he does, I just hope he doesn't. I see you. Oh, maybe that wasn't you. You up here? Nope. Playing it safe. Being cautious. Okay, there's enemies in here, but we are actually going to take the easy way out on them and toss a nice incendiary in there to kill all three of them in the blink of an eye. So nothing else in there, but we at least got a little bit of gold. Uh, no, we don't want to go that way just yet, actually. We want to head over here first. Well, you can do this really in any order. I'm just doing it the way I typically do it. We have a treasure chest here with a lot of shotgun ammo. Well, five shots, which are used in the next 10 seconds because another mutant dog, two mutant dogs actually, decide to come and attack. Since I just picked up some ammo, I feel like reloading there. Now we're going to go back this way and pick up the next platform thing. Well, the first thing that we need to pick up actually. Uh, if we run over here, we are going to get a yellow herb. I hear doggies. Oh, hello. 
Now I hit one of them, and then I miss one of them. I wouldn't suggest the tump on these guys just because it's not really accurate enough, and it doesn't always do enough damage compared to the shotgun, plus the shotgun can hit more than one of them at once. Here we actually have a treasure, a red gem for our latest elegant mask. The speedrunners can just like power through there without even like fighting any of the enemies. It's pretty freaking crazy. Combine that with that and move that to that. I'm not sure what two green herbs and a yellow herb do. I would assume it's a full heal, but I've never actually combined them. It's the only combination I haven't used. Because I know two greens and a red is a full heal. Well, actually, a green and a red is a full heal. And actually, it may not, you may not even be able to do uh, two greens and a red, if I remember correctly. But I'm not completely sure on that. So don't quote me on that one. One is going to spawn in right behind me, I can already tell. I so called that. Okay. Well, you gave me shotgun bullets, but I don't really want to reload yet because I think we'll be getting a free reload in the next chapter. So I don't personally want to waste the bullets. And I am going to run the tump because there aren't too many more of these enemies. And I also know where a couple of them spawn at, so where I can throw a grenade at them or an incendiary or whatever at them. Let's go over here and grab the ammo that's going to be in this treasure chest. Ooh, tump bullets. Okay. Huh. Nothing attacked me there. But I do know that we're about to be attacked. All right, for this, pull out another incendiary. Actually, a flash grenade might work just as well here now that I think about it, but uh, Shotgun time, actually, uh, tump time because I don't want to waste the shotgun shells. Wow, that worked perfectly. Okay, let's just try to power through the rest of this and run as fast as possible. I want to make sure I didn't miss any other treasures here. I don't believe I did. No, I did not. Okay. Now we're going to two moons make one. We will want to combine the two moons and use them on the doorway. Cutscene time. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Huh. Bit of advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? Well, we've just been introduced to Ada Wong, one of the most uh, mysterious characters in all of the Resident Evil series, because it's really hard to tell if she's a friendly or not. I mean, it's really, really hard to tell because, I mean, technically she's working for her umbrella, but she's always, you know, helping the characters out in pretty much four and six, I believe. I can't remember about five. I don't think she does much in five, but uh, at least in four and six, she's trying to help them out at times. So yeah, she's a bit of an interesting character, actually. Uh, nothing in that one. I believe there's something in here. Yes, the uh, diamond pearl mirror. Okay, pearl mirror. I'd have rather have been diamonds, because I would have sold more. Female intruder. It seems to be a female intruder among us. She removed the egg, injected into Sarah, and then retrieved the sample. And her objective is the sample. Uh, they want to keep her alive, etc. 
It's not like you guys are actually going to capture Ada. I hope you guys don't actually think you can capture her. Welcome. Hello, Mr. Merchant Guy. Some rare. What do you What want? do you happen to have on sale? No new weapons, apparently. What are you uh, selling? Let's see what I can sell before I do anything else. Man, I've got a lot of tump ammo. I'm going to sell some of that because I really don't need that much of it. Actually, I'm just going to sell a hundred rounds. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> that should save me a little bit of space in the inventory and make me a little bit of money back. Going to keep all of those. Uh, first aid. Obvious, oh, crap, I meant to sell all of them at once. Uh, money there. Going to keep all of that for now. Uh, I need to add that red gem to this original mask. I am... Actually, yeah, before I talk to you again, I am going to go ahead and combine the red gem with the green-purple one so it is a fully completed elegant mask. And let's see what I want to try to tune up. The shotgun and the rifle and even the tump. What are you buying? Okay, the handgun doesn't have anything new. Uh, the riot gun has a capacity upgrade. Plenty of free bullets out of that. It doesn't need a damage upgrade right now. And we can get a rifle upgrade. Might as well, since we can. A tump upgrade. Yes, we can. And actually, that was a really cheap upgrade. And I am going to hold... Actually, I don't know yet if I want to hold on to my all my money right now. But now we can sell our fully completed elegant mask for 20,000 gold. I know we're going to miss out on like one or two of the gems for this one. I don't remember exactly where they are either. We will complete that, I'm sure, though. What are you buying? Let's see. So really, there's nothing right now that I want to upgrade for the Red 9 since I can't up its firepower yet. Actually, reload speed would not be a bad idea because that's actually a 0.6 second increase in reload speed that makes it faster. So that's actually not a bad idea. Firing speed is kind of unnecessary right now. I don't know if I'm even going to try to get the exclusive for that gun. Riot gun, I don't really think I need that upgrade at this time because no way we can avoid Wolverine Man the second time. Uh, rifle. I might as well upgrade that because that's fairly cheap and it should help in the future a little bit. And for the tump, reload speed is... Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea, but we're not, we're not going to up the capacity yet. We don't need to. And this gun isn't really worth getting the exclusive upgrade for. It's just not really going to do enough. I want to save my money, though, because eventually we'll be able to upgrade like other weapons and stuff. They're going to be a little more helpful. So, we did a lot of trading there, and I am going to... Uh, pretty much that's all we're going to do for this video, guys, because... Uh, Next time we actually have to do a lot of exploration, like we have to go all that we have to clear this entire red zone right here in the central area, including where we get the rocket launcher, and we also have to retreat back down to there just a little bit, just to this room right here. Do a little bit of clearing out there, and then we also have to actually no, I don't think we'll get to that point next video. We might take another video. So I'm just gonna reorganize my inventory, and next time, guys, we will continue on. See you then.